This is the aftermath of a derailment. Some of this train's cargo ignited, causing a huge blaze. It happened in Lilburn, Georgia, back in October of 2020, and led to the brief evacuation of the neighborhoods surrounding the CSX mainline here. Fortunately, the train crew only had minor injuries. Big accidents like this one are rare, but they do happen. Railroads are a critical part of our nation's infrastructure and economy. They specialize in hauling large loads, and those loads often include hazardous materials. That means if there's an emergency situation on the railroad, our first responders have to have a game plan. That's where this train comes in. It's operated by Norfolk Southern and travels around the company's rail system, educating firefighters, paramedics, police, and other men and women who risk their lives to keep us safe. In November of 2021, members of the Atlanta Fire Department and other agencies around Metro Atlanta were here to tour the consist and receive training. You can see this is one of the most specialized trains on the railroad. It was revealed in April of 2016. All the cars have special paint schemes and are pulled by NS number 5642, an electromotive division GP38-2. The box cars here have been converted into classrooms, while the tank cars have platforms where first responders can get a good look at fittings and valves. They can even go inside one of the tank cars. Keep in mind, these things can hold more than 30,000 gallons. They are much bigger than the tanker trucks you'd see on the highway. The flat cars also have things seen all the time on the rails these days, shipping containers. Of course, you'll see containers like these hauled by trucks, trains, and ships. Now, the locomotive up front often gets the most attention from rail fans and the general public. Number 5642 is definitely unique, but like everything else here, it's something that first responders can climb up on and look at firsthand. Engines like this have huge diesel fuel tanks, and among other things, first responders would need to know how to shut a locomotive down in the event of an emergency. That's likely one of the many things they would learn when this train shows up. According to Norfolk Southern's Operation Awareness and Response website, classes include safety around the railroad, understanding rail shipping documents, tank car identification, tank car valves and fittings, locomotive emergencies, and responding to railroad emergencies. There's no doubt first responders are receiving a lot of training here, but hopefully they'll never have to use it.